Today is the first day of the rest of this channel's life. Evil Blue Koala used to be all about music, but now I'm trying to achieve my childhood dream and I'm making a video game. Writing the code, making the assets, and writing the music. I wanted to keep a dev diary, so this is the first video that will hopefully document the very beginning of this project where I have a working prototype all the way up to actually releasing it sometime in the future. And as that I, because I have a working prototype, I'm going to show it to you today. So this is the very first version of a main menu. Uh, it's the first thing that I ever made in uh, Godot, which is the open source engine that I'm using to make the game. And then a sprite, which is uh, a program that allows you to uh, make pixel art. Now, after the loading screen, you get these this um, info screen that will actually get people on their way if you want to test it. I don't really have a manual, but here you will see some very simple things and that will get you going. Um, what kind of a game is it? It's an open world survival game. Um, it's set in Western Europe, I guess you, can, you could say, uh, in like the 90s. It's like the pre-cell phone era. Um, so you have a book that will help you determine plants. It will tell you what to eat, what not to eat, and what you can use for different uh, sorts of situations. There is a health bar and there is a hunger bar. And the only thing that actually affects your health right now is bees. Um, there are bees. Oh, yeah, there. No, there are no bees around. Um, but yeah, so these are like feeding bees. Uh, in any normal situation, they would probably want not to sting you, let alone kill you, unless you're like really allergic. But uh, yeah, okay, the character isn't allergic to bees. Um, the trees and the plants are all procedurally generated, so the the, the game world is not. So the base camp will always be where the base camp is. Uh, this part of the forest will always look like that. Um, but the trees and the plants, they shift places. Um, then the hunger mechanic doesn't really do much right now, but if you get too hungry, it'll slow you down. So you get penalized uh, through movement speed. There is a clock. Um, the clock would imply a day-night cycle. There is a day-night cycle which I will demonstrate at the very end, because then we will go to sleep. But now you have um, this primitive cooking station in your camp, and you should actually try and use it. Now, if you do try to use it, you can't, because uh, it'll tell you that it'll need a fire to actually be useful. And then if you go to your, fi to your um, campfire and try to light it, it'll tell you that you need some kind of fuel to get it going. Now, to tie it all together for this first very primitive quest, is um, you have your book, you have the different plants, which is, are also literally the sprites that are in game to make it a little easier. Now this is all first version, right? So don't uh, this is not going to be like final product sort of stuff. Um, but there is this plant called the broadleaf cattail. Uh, it has a section of the plant which you can use to actually start fires with. And the other hint that we have is that it grows near water. Now, luckily, we have a small stream nearby. And there are some cattails there. So you can harvest one. Then you can see it's actually two sections of the plant that you harvest. You harvest the stalk, which you can eat. And that'll make an, a dent in your hunger bar. And then you have your cigar section, which you also can eat, but it doesn't have that much of a nutritional value, so it won't actually make that big of a dent in your hunger bar. Um, the other thing, it's not animated yet, but you can cross the stream. So basically now you're just running on water, but I'd actually like the character to go a little lower and have some kind of an animation to go with it, but I haven't had time to implement it. Uh, so we got another sort of like a debuff. Uh, we're wet right now, so that will actually not allow us to go to sleep. And getting yourself dry before going to bed, you can do that by lighting your fire. Now, okay, this pop-up is actually a bug, so ignore it as one of the many things you can ignore. Um, the other thing that's implemented is there is a, a brewing mechanic. Um, basically, if you start cooking, you have this. Yeah, my satchel is now empty, so I can't put anything in there. Basically, you can put three plants in there, 
and then you can brew and then after 10 seconds it'll tell you that the brew is ready but honestly this is just like a garbage bin right now so it doesn't do really do anything it's just i wanted to have this mechanic where you used something and then you would get a screen because in the future there will be things that you actually have to make uh, in order to help you survive and then in closing i will show the day night cycle so it's now almost six but we are going to sleep so you have the transition screen and you also have the shifting of the sounds. So during the day you will have daytime sounds and during the night you will have nighttime sounds. So you will have owls and crickets and it'll also be dark. So now you wake up at like 6.30, that's when the sun starts to rise again. Um, the crickets will be replaced by birds. And uh, if you wait until the evening, which is uh, sunset is like 9.30, then you have the inverse so you would actually have the daytime birds that will get replaced by crickets and owls um, so that's basically what it is right now so i hope you've enjoyed this little um, first insight into the game that i'm actually making i'm actually already looking for people to help me test because uh, the prototype has already gotten this big that i uh, can't see all the bugs um, now, if you do want to do this, uh, just don't get, get emotionally attached to anything that you're seeing because everything is subject, sub, subject to change. Um, also, if you are a subscriber of this channel, and I do know that the most popular thing around is the Skyrim mod that I made, the music mod. Um, if you're not at all interested in this content, the new content, then you can unsubscri unsubscribe eh? like you don't have to do things life's too short to do the things that you don't want to do so i really don't want to bug you in that way uh, but if you are interested or you would know somebody is who is interested please send them to the channel um because yeah well i will need any kind of promotion that i can use because i actually in the end i, I would like to release the game on steam and maybe other platforms um so yeah Thanks for watching and um, see you on the next Dev Diary.